Hey guys, how's it going? Miso here, back with another Epic 7 guide video, and specifically today we're going to be going over the new Hell Raid. About a month ago, Hell Raid was changed. So in the past, how Hell Raid worked was that you would have two bosses, one on the left, one on the right, and you'd do them every week, and they'd reset every week. Now, instead of resetting every week, they actually reset every month, and all of the raid bosses, Queen, Vera, Jubilee Council, and the other two, Arakan, and um, what is this? Mad Car Executioner Carcanus, they're all in Hell Raid now. So this changes up things a lot because you're not going to be doing the same bosses over and over again every week. And instead, you're going to want to do pretty much all of them every month. So in the past, there were some very most efficient routes that people have got, come up with and calculated, and those have kind of changed because of the new bosses and the new system where you can actually teleport to the bosses at the beginning and you don't have to walk all the way through. And today, the goal of this video is really just to go over the most efficient routes for you guys to do. So let's get started. For me, I actually did most of the efficient routes, but as you can see on the left side, this area is not cleared, which I need to do at you know one point because the most efficient route for this side actually goes over this left side area. But I already cleared it, so I might just kind of skip that. We'll see what happens. Actually, in the future, I think um, the most efficient route will still have me coming down here, just in a different direction. So let's take a look. So I'm going to be referring to a guide that was created by this guy named Connecting on Global. Um, and this was posted on the Reddit uh, for Hell Raid Guide. Now, you c I'm going to include a link to that below because that guide pretty much goes over everything you need to go it goes over the most efficient paths it goes over the different bosses the changes to the bosses between normal and hell and even all the mini bosses that you're going to go up against as you're going through these routes that he's suggesting so let's start with the first time you clear because actually the first time you clear the bosses compared to the next, the subsequent times, you're going to be taking a different route. As I mentioned before, the teleporting system changes things up. So here is going to be the image that is on the guide that goes over what you should be doing for the most efficient routes for your first clear. So right here in the middle in the black is where you start. That's where you start the um, your run. So when you're when you start here, depending on which boss you want to go, they're labeled by numbers for where you want to go, um, what the order of place you want to go. So let's make my line a little bigger. There you go. So if you're starting from the middle, you want to go left for the um, Archon. You're going to want to go from this black center spot to here to kill the striker as your first mini boss. And then you're going to see, as you see, it's going to be numbers, right? One, three, two, seven. That's the order in which you want to be approaching this. So you go all the way left and you hit one right here. And then you go here, two, and you're going to hit another mini boss. Now you're going to actually backtrack from here, which is why there's a three here. Then you go up, hit this mad, um, I forget what it's called, but it's another type archetype of the elite enemies, elite bosses. Um, hit that, go up here to number four, and then you're going to do Archon after that as five and then you're going to come back here six and then you go here masochist kill that and then down seven and that'll complete your run so that's a little bit of overview on the top left side for Arakan, and that's going to be the same for every one of these bosses you're going to be wanting to hit all these numbers and that is the most efficient route for you to go to kill each of these now you're going to want to do this for Archon, you're going to want to do this for Carcanus. Go over here and then kill the boss here. Backtrack down here. Go up, right, up. And that's going to end that one. And then you're going to want to go to the bottom right this way. You know, I really don't have to kind of walk through these with you. I'm pretty sure you guys are smart enough to take a look, be able to read numbers. But just in case for those people who are more visual and want to be able to kind of um, get a visual of how to go through these, I'm going to draw these arrows for you to kind of show you how to complete it. Left, here we go. Go down to two, go 
go back up to three, go down to four, left five, six, seven, go up one. Now you're gonna go right two, and I didn't know this before, because I was actually going up left a lot, and I think the right path is gonna be the one where you can cover the most ground. So we're up here to mad. So I'm actually gonna need to change that on my next run as well. Corrupted, go to counter, and then down to over here to four to queen. So that kind of covers the, what you wanna do for your first run. And you're gonna be hitting all of these. Um, at least you're gonna try your best to hit all of them within the month. So the next month you're gonna be able to do them all over again and get the reset. Now, we're gonna, let's move on to the second time you complete it, which is gonna be a little bit different from the first time you complete it. Because now you get access to the portals, right? So as you can see, most of them where you start for with one is going to be at the green portals where you get access to after you beat the bosses. So you start from the center right here, and then you're gonna wanna teleport to one here, one here, here, and here and follow the lines again. But for the queen, you're still gonna be following the same route as before. Like so. And those are gonna be the most efficient routes for when you do it the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, infinite amount of times after the first one. So until they change this again, that's gonna be the most efficient routes. And as I mentioned, all of this was on the guide that was, you know, listed on, was created and posted on the Reddit, which is this one right here, the Hell Raid Guide by Connecting um, on Global. And as you can see on the left, it really just goes over everything that you need to know. The paths, the summaries of the bosses, and then in each of the specific bosses, they talk about the mini bosses that you're going to go up against and talk about the differences between the different the, you know the normal raid and the hell raid version and talk a little bit about strategy and even give you a little bit of uh, background as to what teams you should be using but that's about it it's a pretty short video pretty self-explanatory but i know there are some people who just don't like to read <laughs> um and this is for you guys making this video because i don't think really anybody else has kind of covered the most efficient pass for the new hell raid yet so hopefully you guys enjoy that Hopefully it helps, um, and let me know if you have any questions and what you want to see next on my channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever that normal stuff is that YouTubers always say. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.